let's translate Numbers 11 verse 29. So structurally, this verse starts off with a Vav conjunction, Vayomer, and then it tells us the recipients, Lo, to him, and he said to him, who's he? Well, this is a conjunction, so I'm gonna move it over here, and our subject is actually next. Now this hey should not be here. I don't know why it's linked. There we go. Belongs over here. And Moses said to him, what does he say? There's a question here. I'm going to put this over here to show this is the content of what Moses is saying. And this says to be jealous, but it's a question. This is the interrogative hey. So there's some sort of question going on here. And here we have our pronoun, ata, you. Well, this verb is a participle. It's PL participle, masculine singular. So in this case, this is functioning as the verb, even though it's it's a participle, and this is our subject. This is not our direct object. And it's basically saying, are you jealous? Are you jealous for me? And then there's a conjunction. And who, still in a question. So we've got a question here, and now we've got a question here. And who, now we have an actual verb, cal imperfect third masculine singular from Nathan. So literally to give, to put, to set. And then we have a, a nice phrase here, the all the people of the Lord. So this literally reads, and who he will give all the people of the Lord. This is a construct chain. We have one construct here with call om, and then we have uh, a construct with the absolute. So all the people of the Lord. Although the definite article is not here, Yahweh is definite. And so om must be definite. All the people of the Lord. Then there's no verb. And then we have Nevi'im prophets. Then we have our verb again, but now we have a conjunction. So it's no longer a question. So thus, so, because, since, something like that. Imperfect third masculine singular. So he will give Yahweh. So now we know our subject is here. Yahweh will give. And then we have our direct object marker with F. His spirit. His spirit to them. Now, because this is relating to the verb and this is our direct object here. I'm going to move it over here like this. So our verse is, and Moses said to him, are you jealous for me? And who will give all the people of the Lord prophets? Because the Lord will give his spirit to them. That's what it means literally. If you found this diagram helpful, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's dive into the semantics. So we have amar, this is to say, and then la, to, and then our suffix va, vav, which is him, and then Moshe, Moses. Moshe, the verb, means to draw out. So the irony is Moses is drawn out of the river, hence the name. Now, here we have kana, and kana is PL participle. It's to be envious of, but with la as our situation here, it is traditionally to become jealous of, but to campaign for with a human subject. So Joshua is campaigning for Moses. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Moses says, hold up. Are you jealous for me? Are you campaigning for me? Now we get to umi. Yithen. First, we'll look at me, who, and notice me, Yithen. I wished I had known. I wished I had known. This is from Job 23.3. 3. Structurally, it's a little bit different than what we have here, except we do have me, Yithen. And so what's going on here is Moses is basically saying, I wish that all the people of the Lord were prophets.
I think some translations actually say would that all the people of the Lord were prophets, uh, but I'm going to translate it. I wish all the people of the Lord were prophets. And then he says, why? With ki ethen, so prophet, and then conjunction, ki or chi. So it can mean yea, if it's emphatic, or verily, indeed. So that could be the case here. Indeed, the Lord will give his spirit on them. If it were, if it were following a negative clause, it would be on the contrary, only, no, not thus. It could be except. That doesn't make sense here. It could be because. I think it means because, or it's causal. In this sense, it could be for, but I don't think that quite captures it here. It could be a reason which has existed for a long time, only later discovered. That doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, we're not interrupted with eem, so it doesn't appear to be that. After verbs of seeing, hearing, saying, noticing, believing, remembering, forgetting, or regretting. It introduces the subordinate clause, that. Well, we don't seem to have a verb here of seeing, hearing, saying, etc. The subject of the subordinate clause is made object of the principal sentence. This seems to be the case. It's, it's essentially explaining the first clause. I wish that all the people of the Lord were prophets. I wish that all the people of the Lord were prophets, that the Lord will give his spirit to them. It's not direct speech. And I, I'm not really sure what number eight here is. I think it's supposed to basically say it's a, akin to ki'im. So SF ki or ya'an ki or ad ki or al ki, akev ki, tachath ki. So it doesn't appear to be that. Ki introduces the clause which explains and fulfills the idea of the principal sentence. This is basically what I was alluding to earlier. No, have nothing to do that they should have put me in prison. So I think this is what's going on. So this clause is explaining this clause. Here's Yathan or Nathan. Again, this is Cal imperfect, third masculine singular. Give, hand down, allow, surrender, set, place, lay, raise the voice. This is a very flexible verb. This is a very flexible verb that the Lord will give his spirit, ruach. So here, ruach is a noun. And for some reason, it linked to the verb. So I'm going to hit here and go down to our noun. There it is, ruach. The traditional etymological derivation, though uncertain, is from ruach, roch, ruch, whatever the verb is, with special reference to the Arabic, racha. It's a proper noun used as an onomatopoeic word because it means wind, air, spirit, or even demon. So if we come down here, you can see it means breeze, breath, breeze, wind, wind, breath. It can even mean sense, mind, intellectual frame of mind. It can be used of the spirit of God. It can be used of a holy spirit or particular types of spirit, like the spirit of wisdom. And in this sense, ruach, in combination with basar, corresponds to el, meaning it corresponds to el, God. I think the way to read this is as an analogy. Ruach is to basar, so spirit is to flesh, which corresponds to God with Adam, human. So here we have his spirit, and then all, this is not ul, this is the wrong link. So I'm going to click here. Now we've got all, but this is um, the noun. We're looking for the preposition. We'll hit here again. Now we've got our preposition all, l. It can mean on, over, in front of, before. It can mean above, more than. 
on the side of, supported by, on account of, with regard to, concerning, according to, against, opposite, against, to, towards, in addition to, together with, in addition to, to, from, far off, downwards from, above and outside, away from, over, on, because. So it's got a lot of different options to choose from. What's the idea? Well, the Lord is going to set or put his spirit on or upon or even over them, right? We saw earlier in this context, or if you check the context, you can see that the spirit of, or a spirit rested on these people and they began to prophesy in a frenzy. So it's the spirit rests on them or, or is placed on them. So on is totally acceptable here. I'm gonna translate it that way, on them. So um, that the Lord will put his spirit on them. Here's our suffix, third person, masculine, plural, hem. So that means them. So our translation. And Moses said to him, meaning Joshua, are you campaigning for me? But I wish all the people of the Lord were prophets, that the Lord will put his spirit on them. If you want to show your support and sport some cool merch, pick up this Greek Jesus is Lord shirt from the merch store today. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Also, you can subscribe and you can continue watching. Check out this video here on Numbers chapter 6 verses 22 through 27. It's about the great benediction that Moses has to tell Aaron to speak over the people of Israel. It's a good one. We'll see you next time.